with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can take a life-size photograph of a subject and make it appear as if it's a miniaturized version of itself using an effect known as tilt shift miniature faking and the way this effect works is by blurring out certain segments of the photograph uh, to simulate the, uh, the shallow depth of field normally associated with close-up photography. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. If you'd like to update GIMP with these icons here, I'll have a link to that information in the, in the description. And I will also have a link to this photograph that I'll be using here in the description of the video as well. So I'm going to open up this photo with GIMP. And there we have our photograph. The first thing we want to do is right click on the layer just to make sure we have alpha, to, I mean, uh, add alpha channel. Go ahead and click on add alpha channel. If you can't click on that, if it's grayed out, that means there's already an alpha channel there, so you're good to go. So what we want to do now is duplicate this layer. So I'm going to click this button right here that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And I'm going to go to fill, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur this, uh, I'm going to make this box bigger so we can get a better look at the preview menu there. Depending on the size of the photo, I downloaded the 19, uh, 1920 pixel wide photo. So depending on that, uh, I don't know what's going on down here. Uh, I'm going to try maybe like a 30 point blur and see how that works. Go ahead and click OK. And that's good. We want it to be pretty blurred out. We want, it, we want the, the blur to be really noticeable. So that's pretty good right there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on that layer and go to add layer mask. And we want full uh, white full uh, opacity. Go ahead and click add. And what I'm going to do now is grab the blend tool. And what we want to do now is make sure we have black set as the uh, foreground color and white set as the background color, which I believe is the default when you open up GIMP. So that should be set that way already. If not, just go ahead and change that. And for the gradient, we want to choose this one right here, foreground to background. And over here where it says foreground to background, we want that. We don't want it back. We don't want it switched. So go ahead and just click this reverse button if, it's not, if that's not the case. Shape, we want linear, repeat, none. And those settings should be good right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the cursor maybe like two thirds down from the top of the image. And I'm going to click and drag a line going down to uh, near the bottom, not at the bottom, but near the bottom. And I'm going to hold control so it locks it onto the vertical axis so we get a perfectly straight line. Right about there, and then I'll let go. And you'll see what that did was it took the blurred part of the image and just made it, it just made it uh, account for this bottom third of the image right here, which is what we're going for. And what we have to do now is do the same for the top third of the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that layer. Create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And I'm going to do the same thing now, but going up this way. So I'm going to bring the cursor about one third down uh, from the top of the page. Click and drag a line, hold control to lock it to the vertical axis. Maybe about like an inch before the top of the image right there. And go ahead and let go and see how that looks. Uh, if you don't like how it looks, you can undo it by just hitting control Z. And you can come down maybe a little further, see how that looks. And that looks pretty good right there, I'd say. The more you zoom out on it, the better it looks. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can uh, create a tilt shift miniature uh, faking effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.